at our particular course, there was a little part that focused on cluster. And it's been an exciting year in the fact that there has been some small amount of research in cluster headache. There was a study that was published this past year looking at ketamine nasal spray um, for the treatment of cluster headache. There was a familial study that was recently published looking at the genetics behind cluster. And this perhaps can travel um, in families and there, there might be some link about it as well. One thing that we are definitely frustrated in is new therapies in cluster headache. You know, why uh, we have one monoclonal antibody that showed efficacy, but not others. Is it potentially related to study design? And there is an ongoing clinical trial for um, intravenous septinizumab for cluster headache, and, and it's just getting started. So I know many of us are interested in following to see how that trial does. And I believe they did present their clinical design at the AAM this year. So I know we are interested in seeing how that trial goes and if this potentially would be an effective treatment for patients, uh, especially since this is a, a very fast onset bioavailable uh, uh, medication options. So if a patient is in cluster cycle to receive IV treatment, um, it's something that really does resonate and make sense for patients. So a lot of the conversations were like, well, it's been a better year than most, and then there has been some updates, but we really still are lacking new treatment targets for this particular disease.